Hello, I'm Dima and I'm about to tell you a little bit about the Open World Bakery demo application. This is the demo project that you can download from GitHub. It's open source and you can download it as an executable. So see the link below the video. If you want to try it yourself, you can just download zip archive and play with it yourself. So let's jump right in. We have this platform in the middle of nowhere with some stands around. Only one button here. As we approach one of them, let's bake. These are the turtles that carry the world, as you may guess. And here is our flat world. Well, so this one looks pretty sweet already. We have this little river here. You see this lake, these rocks, this like signs. Oh no, 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 no. Signs of erosion. Come on, stop it. All right. So let's make a bigger version of this with primitive layout, say one kilometer and scale one to one. Let's bake it. You can see we only have one stage of cooking here. All right, this one is naked version of the world. You can see the previous video of mine where I explain why do you use such primitive shapes to build the world and how it all works. So here is just a mix of screwed cones, twisted spheres and the like. And we're gonna okay let's pick the control panel. So we're gonna bake the same world now it's naked with no erosion, most primitive mode, and we're gonna bake it in standard mode and to see how it looks like. As you can see, this the normal mode takes well <laughs> much longer time because it has 17 steps. Let's take a screenshot. No, so we could compare the results. Okay, and one more layer. All right, so it's almost ready. So we got it. And now let's take a screenshot. Let's okay, so you can see the difference. This is this is just a flat space, and this one has much of the angles shaved. It has this dry river beds all around. It has this natural river. We will go to it now. It has some terracing here. So you can see for yourself how it works. So let's fly a little bit around. And teleport now. See this lake? Here is when the rain is heavy, the water goes out there, and you can see this the signs of you know water erosion here. This is the wet spot, like swamp or I don't know, and here is the river. Wait a minute, guy. 
you see it's flowing and its direction is the direction you would expect it to be so this is pretty sweet huh now let's see what else have we got it's hard to navigate in this flying mode it's too fast but I'll manage I swear okay we can walk again all right let's bake volcano now as you can see you have a random seed here we'll play with it right now I guess oh no I baked it huge no I want a little one give me this one to one hundred you can see there is a little help on controls how do you move how do you turn flying on and off All right so, so this is the volcano and this volcano is a volcano of seed 8 and you can get I don't know the 13 here you go it's a different world already so in fact you can bake infinite number of worlds here well not infinite but as big as integer allows we are not going to mess with fjord because it's it looks nicer when it's really huge and it takes time so let's bake valley for now A little one all right so you can see it much more water rich history here because all this valley collects water you know so like like island dropped all the water to the ocean immediately here water collects here so it shapes this river let's bake it okay let, let let me bake it like this two kilometers scale one to five so it would be huge enough in standard mode and i will this will take like a couple of minutes so i will just cut it from the video and i will tell you how long did it take okay so baking almost done it took about four and a half minutes maybe a little bit more i took a screenshot of the previous version of the world so we could compare it because sometimes baking makes world it reshapes rivers and all that so let's it's still building you see because it's really huge and this application isn't optimized much it just shows you the true mesh as, as it is so let's compare shape like this shape like this well it's more or less the same but as you can expect so this world doesn't scale like you scale a resin it scales properly so if you had a beach say four meters in half kilometer world it will still be 10 or 5 meters in the world 8 kilometers wide it wouldn't be 10 times bigger so this reverse you can see it flows where it's supposed to flow it has i don't know do we have some islands here yeah it has some you know this sweet oh come on guy start running see this it flows where it should flow it's few water here more water here and all that stuff so it's it's digs its way through the rocks here you see so 
so this all is correct and realistic here are lakes so this looks pretty sane one thing I want to show you is this you can export all the height maps and water maps let's export it now let's go to the folder and here we get our files here is the water flow it says the deepness of water you can see the lakes here and the stream direction here is the just a height map you know that this is material mapping open world bakery has 28 materials so like river shallow river deep sea shallow sea deep rocks of that kind of this kind whatever and here is the mapping and here is the water heat map like this and this and you can see I don't know how to show it but this lake say oh no I think that's this one right so it's mirrored but anyway you can export this all even from this test application let alone the plugin itself and use it in your project as you see fit so see this waters here this wet river beds here that only take water when it's raining right but it destroys the slope here is the naked rock here is the washed soil and all that stuff well so we've seen how it works i think now it's time to look under the hood so we will close this and see all right so the core code for this world generation looks more or less like this so this is the working code it initiates the bakery it sets the sizes and it gets this one of the pre like open world bakery comes with the set of predefined world setups we have this let's see them so this is the bakery profile like how much erosion do we have do we need landslides or do we not are there any springs on the map or not like you can have some predefined water source not like rain but to define the volcano is made based on this so this are you know most basic which has one step normal cycle which is a little bit heavier but still um, observable so more erosion super erosion drought okay so we have this preset up baking profiles and as well we have some preset up for worlds like where to place hills where to place crocs and all that stuff don't be scared about this because there is a script you can find it in docs the description which turns the array copied from the property tab into this structure so you can just make your make manual world and then just copy paste it to the blueprint and play with it like there is a 
archipelago with which makes like which uses some blueprint to pre-build the world procedurally like to define the hills not on the fixed positions but to place them wherever wherever we like so we choose one of the predefined build modes and we somewhere here choose the predefined world and then just bake it and finalize mostly this project consists of some user interface stuff and all that so so that's more or less what you need to use bakery yourself so that's about it for today guys see the links below this video there is a link for this project there is a link for the open world bakery full documentation there is a link for downloading the demo you have seen right now so you can play with it like subscribe thank you all bye